Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a French dot a cure which is basically French tips using dots. I really hope you like it, let's get into it. Now these are the polishes I'll be using and I'll also be using a dotting tool. These are from an NCLA and they're all from their new runway collection. Links will be in the description box. The first step is to paint your nails with the three colours, the cream, the chocolate and the red, just like this. Once your base colour is dry, you want to come in with your dots for your French dot -a cure On the red nail, we're using the cream and the dark chocolate and as we go further, you'll see that we're changing them up depending on what the base colour is. Uh, now, I'm using an actual dotting tool as you can see, but there are a lot of alternatives of household items that you can use in place of actual dotting tools, although I will link down in the, in the description box where you can go to get a set of dotting tools very, very cheaply, like on Amazon and eBay. Now on the very, very dark chocolate, I know it looks black, but it's actually a very, very dark, rich chocolate color. Uh, I'm using the cream and the red. Now I wanted to also say that you don't have to have, say for instance, you don't have a set of dotting tools and you only have a couple of items that you think you can use for, for creating dots. It is not just the size of the dotting tool that denotes the size of the dot. It can also be the pressure that you place on your nail with the polish. And you can see that I can create mid-range sized dots using the same dotting tool as I'm using for the big dots. So it does also, can also depend on the kind of, or the amount of pressure that you're using. So if you only give it the slightest touch, you can get a very, very tiny dot, even with a sort of a larger or medium sized dotting tool. So keep that in mind. Now because all of the dots are made with polish, I'm using all these flash dry drops a few minutes before top coating just because I do not want any smudges. And see, no smudges. Yay. Oh, I'm using Sesh Feet as per usual. And that's it. I really hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye, Tikis. Oh, and thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.